everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airte Throws Nation, throws coach extraordinaire, creator of the Throwing Chain Reaction Six Pillar Training System. And in today's video, we are gonna bring you TCR Throws Newsletter Tip, and we're gonna talk about a distance killer. Okay, so today, one of the common things we talk about, you're gonna be seeing actually coming out part of our new TCR Method 12-week coaching program. One of the bonuses you're gonna get is something called Do's, Don'ts, and Distance Killers. And today, what you're gonna see is, this, is a video, and I'm gonna talk about a distance killer. Now, Do's, Don'ts, and Distance Killers, just so you kind of pay attention, obviously kind of sounds like what it is. There's certain things you wanna do, there's certain things that are you don't really wanna do. You can maybe do and maybe have some success with, but it's not optimal, and then there are things that are absolute distance killers. Last week, if you didn't see last week's video, be sure to go through your email, check for that. But last week we sent out the email that talked specifically about how to block if you put your foot to the parallel to the toe board, it's training athletes to open up the upper body. It creates this vicious problem and it takes so long to correct it. A good friend of mine who's coaches at the college level, coached at the Olympic Games, he's coached, he's coached tons of uh, successful high school throws. He made a really good point one time. It's like, it takes 100 reps to learn it right, it takes 1,000 to unlearn that wrong pattern, right? So it takes 100 times to do it right, thousand times to unlearn it. And that is literally like pretty close. Sometimes it takes even more. To get an actual thousand reps in, you have to recognize it takes a lot of time. So that's my setup. You don't wanna do certain things. They're absolute distant killers. It means you're gonna work your ass off and you're gonna basically struggle because what you're doing is totally incorrect and you don't wanna do it. So today, we're gonna talk about that. This is something, as we went across the country this summer, this is something I see year in, year out, every single throws camp we do. And one of the things that we do at our throws camps that if you've ever been, I do ask these questions. And I ask basically the questions that are in the do's, don'ts, and distance killers. How many of you learn this? And there are things as we go from the power position to the middle of the throw, to the start of the throw, to the sweep leg, to the block arm, everything, there are these really bad things that are just constantly passed down. Okay, so you're, I'm going and you're like, dude, I get it, like just get to it. Okay, so here we go. One of the things we're gonna talk about today is the chest up, Q. Now, I know very successful coaches that talk about getting the chest up. Now, one of the key things though, is how you get the chest up. Do you want the chest up at the finish? That's a very important question. And the answer is, 100%, you absolutely want the chest elevated at the finish. Notice what I'm showing you in this video, see where I come kind of in. If I'm here, if I come forward, that's no good. But if I'm here, now watch when I try to consciously get the chest up. This extra piece is too much. And if I'm rotating and I get the chest up, the rotation stops. I want my chest up because I'm pushing my hip and when my knee pushes down and my hip turns, you see how everything's coming here? My chest is up, see the logo, right? If I'm here, now if I think, get my chest way up and then I turn, I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna usually deliver the discus like this or I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna get here in the shot and I'm gonna lift and I'm not gonna be able to really come through. I wanna have the chest up by pushing the hip so my chest is here and I'm gonna be able to strike that shot or pull that discus. So let me just elaborate on that quickly because what I want you to do is if you're an athlete being coached on this cue, you wanna understand what the chest up, what's the right position and what's the distance killer. And the distance killer is actively trying to do this. So one of the examples I had the other day, I took one of my athletes and I said, okay, do a front squat and as you squat, keep lifting your chest up. Do you want your chest up on a front squat? Absolutely, you want your chest nice and tall. Do you want your chest to go so far up that you're gonna actually throw off your angle and screw yourself up? Of course not. So there's this fine line of where the right technical window is and where the wrong distance killing window or strength killing position comes in. Think of a power position like a front squat. You want the chest up, but you don't want the chest so far up that as you descend, you would fall back in a front squat. So the same principle, if I'm rotating and my chest comes up, I basically stop the rotation. I go up and rotation stops wherever I start to align the chest up. That's what we wanna be really careful of. That's the distance killer. Do we want the chest up? Yes, we always train. When we're driving, we work the legs properly and turn the hip, we are gonna create this up motion and you're gonna pull with the chest up. The shoulders are on top of the hips on all your elite throwers. There is an angle where the chest is up, but we are not consciously throwing the chest up. Remember, this is what it looks like 
And just because somebody, you know, 40 years ago was using PEDs and not the ones that are on our system, right? And they could do amazing things, doesn't take away from the accomplishments, but it allowed some things to occur that couldn't necessarily happen in what you're seeing nowadays. Big, strong, big, fast guys you see universally for the last 20 plus years, shoulders on top of the hips, whole body on a slight angle. As it rotates, the chest is up, boom, you get the big pull, boom, you get the big strike, but they are not actively driving the chest up beyond the right point, which will absolutely, if you're working on consciously getting the chest up, which I see all the time, and I have to explain this at practice all the time, which is one of the reasons why we came out with do's, don'ts, and distance killers, because it's a course to be able to train our athletes that are coming to camps, that are coming to our club, that are coming for coaching, that are in our coaching program, that you're gonna, if you're signing up for our, our online live coaching programs, we're doing that so that you can immediately go, whoa, okay, yeah, I totally see the difference because you'll be able to see it on video and hopefully some of the footage we put in today will help you kind of see that. So today's quick tip, hopefully you guys are doing it again. Each week we wanna give you things, let you know, these are the types of things that we always expand on inside the system. You're gonna get the drills, the information, the training plan, everything you're gonna need, Big updates coming, lots of details. Check it out below, and we'll see you guys on the next video.